Last week was a big week in computer security with the identified bash bug. The bug has been appropriately given the name Shellshock with a threat level of very high. The news hit last week when Red Hat security blog posted about discovering the bug in the born again shell or bash. The article talked about how the bug was exploited and that Red Hat had fixed the bug in their latest patch. Many people were upset that this was publicly announced because almost all Unix based systems are vulnerable to the attack. This includes OS X. However, four hours after the release of, of the Red Hat news and patch, someone had already broken through Red Hat's fix and exploited the bug once again. The attack is conducted by exploiting environment variables in Bash. Arbitrary code can be executed from a function that is placed inside an environment variable. This bug affects anything that uses Bash, so things like CGI scripts, SSH, Telnet, DHCP, and many more. So how do you know if you're vulnerable? Well, there's a simple test we can do in Bash to check if we are vulnerable to the exploit. In the terminal, we create an environment variable with our function and code. So environment, and we'll call the variable var, then in quotes, we're going to have parentheses, then some curly braces, and we're going to ignore colon and close curly braces, colon, and then echo out our code that we want to execute. So we'll do echo, and then we'll just echo out the word exploited then close quotes, and then we can run any bash command. So we'll just do bin bash, and we'll create a new instance. If your system is vulnerable, you'll get the output exploited to your console. But don't fear, there is a patch out for most systems now that stops code from executing inside environment variables. But I would write this one down because not all Unix-based systems can be updated. Think about the poor routers, modems, and hardware that are still exploitable. Now that we can tell that we're vulnerable, what can we do with this bug? Well, the possibilities are almost endless, as this bug basically allows you to execute any bash command on the remote machine. Many people have already written short scripts to modify web pages on a server. This could be to output the contents of a system file on the server or to insert malicious iframes into pages. There are also scripts out there for initializing reverse shells and creating backdoors. People have been detected scanning through IP ranges, adding all of the vulnerable IPs to a botnet. It can be assumed that this, will, this botnet will be used for DDoS attacks. Sending the command to uh, wget or ping to all the machines that you know are vulnerable could prove to be some serious firepower. There is even some rumors that someone has written a worm that, is, that once penetrating one machine on a network, it attacks every other machine from there. I hope you found this interesting. I will provide useful links in the description if you are interested in playing around with this bug. Remember to get your servers patched. Thanks for watching.